I've a task for you, actually. As you ask. What a rambunctious bunch. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then, one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So, as you can see, I have no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree... It had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Carry on, my friend. <laughs>